Hello, and welcome to the introduction video to the SAT Chemistry Review course. My name is Rob Shums. I will be your teacher through this course as we prepare for the SAT subject test in chemistry. So in this video, I want to give you an introduction as to what's in the course, what I cover, and what you can expect to learn as you make your way through it. Uh, the basic idea behind this is just a review uh, to help you prepare for the subject test. So we're going to focus on solving problems and on test strategy. That's the, our goal. This is a preparation course for the subject test. It's not principally a learn chemistry course. So this is not a substitute for your high school chemistry class. I do assume a certain level of basic knowledge, preferably an honors chemistry or even AP chemistry class. But if you've taken regular chemistry, that can be okay as well. We also will fill in some gaps. So it's not like I assume you know everything. Part of this course is learning specific things, particularly things that the college board likes to test on the subject test. But uh, I do assume a certain level of knowledge because this can't be a full chemistry course. It's just going to be too much. If you need more remedial or more basic review, then I recommend other resources in supplement with this, like Khan Academy has really good videos to help you learn chemistry at its basics. But this course is principally on preparing for the subject test to push you to that 800 or thereabouts level. That's the goal. And that's the focus. In the course, the, the meat of the course is covering six real practice tests with some bonus problems. So this amounts to about 500 plus problems that I give full solutions to. So we work through the questions, talk about the answers, how we get them, and we give some review of the basic concepts that you need for the questions. This is where the review element comes in. So if you've done chemistry recently and you just need a refresher or you need to know what specific topics are covered and in what kind of detail and how we answer the questions, that's exactly what this course is about. Uh, again, if you don't know much about chemistry, you'll probably want to do a full chemistry course first before you were to turn to this. And generally, I don't recommend you take the subject test unless you've done a high school chemistry course anyway. So I expect for most of you that's not going to be an issue, but we're going to focus on answering problems from these tests. In addition, you'll get access to my SAT chemistry factoid list. And this is what the first page of the, or an excerpt of the first page of the list looks like. Basically, right now it's eight pages. By the time you get access to it, it could be longer, but it's eight pages of facts, formulas, little tidbits, especially stuff that the College Board, for whatever reason, likes to ask about. So we cover all these little details that you can use to create flashcards and then study, so you have that really solid foundation of the little facts and formulas and tidbits that the College Board's going to ask about. So what tests do we go through? There are six prime real practice tests that we work through, nothing from third-party sources, only real practice tests. Three of the tests highlighted here in green, 1982, 1994, and 1998, are available for download on the internet. In fact, there's a link below, either if you're watching this on YouTube in the description or if you're watching this on my site uh, below the video itself, there's a link where you can find, uh, you can get access to these tests. So feel free and go ahead and download them. I also offer the 1982 solutions for free, either on YouTube or on my website. So you'll get a sense of how I'm approaching these questions. Uh, but those three tests are available. Um, on my website, on the internet, and they're real tests. They're a little old. It must be uh, admitted that, you know, 1982, that's 36 years ago. So there are some small differences and little wrinkles that are, uh, that make the test a little bit different from more modern tests. And I will flag that as we work through the material. Nonetheless, it's still really good practice. Uh, certainly better than any third party test. So I highly recommend you do those three first because those are going to be the, the less representative examples. So do those first, and then we're going to move on to the next test. So we do have solutions to those three. Then we work through the more current tests released by the College Board. The first is in the official study guide for all SAT subject tests book. Uh, this test I don't offer for free because it's for sale from the College Board. So you'll have to get this book or otherwise get access to this test because I don't offer the test as part of the course. You have to get that. So that's something you have to have or buy in addition. Also, I work through, this is a relatively new book, two tests from the official SAT subject test in chemistry study guide. So again, I don't give you these tests because they're for sale. You have to buy them from the College Board or you have to otherwise get access to them. Um, in addition, in the videos, I will put these problems from these three available practice tests on the screen as I work through them. In these videos, I won't put the problems themselves on the screen because you have to have them, but I will write out the solutions and it, it, it still works fine. I, 
even if we don't have the problems on the screen because I can draw and label things. It, it works fine. But just to protect copyright, I don't put those questions on the screen. And then finally, I work through 60 bonus problems from the College War website. And in the official chemistry guide, there's a 30 problem chunk at the beginning that are separate from the tests. So I do those as well, just to give you some extra practice on real style questions. And that's it. So if you have any questions about what the course entails and uh, any other issues you might have with it, let me know. Otherwise, let's move on to the next video.